Hello everyone, CSWirt here, and as you can see, I have created a 3D fractal generator within Minecraft. This is using a data pack, and everything is 100% vanilla. Now, I'll give a world download and explain the code near the end of the video, but for now, I'll explain what a fractal is. So, a fractal is a, three to, is a shape that repeats itself over and over. In this case, this is the Manger sponge, and we have a cube with the side hollowed out. And I take this base shape and it gets multiple and it gets repeated over itself. So here's that same shape, that three by three by three, and it gets repeated into that same three by three by three. And this is only a size one. Now we can actually go up a size, and that's based off the number of items in my hotbar here. And so we go from size one to size two. And it takes that same three by three by three increased and makes it into a or I should say that nine by nine by nine and turns it into a next size up which is the uh, 27 by 27 by 27 and we can even go even bigger and make the I think 81 by 81 by 81 and all of this is completely vanilla while this does look nice and okay a level three is not as big as we can go because right now the limit is based off of the structure block here. So if I set this to something like 50, we see how that goes back to 48. That's because the limit for the base game is 48. However, if we use a mod such as carpet, we can actually increase the structure block limit to anything like 256. So uh, Moyang, please fix, but now we can actually generate a level four. Oh. And that will be the limiting size for the base game unless you increase the world height because obviously the world height is 384 and you can't go any bigger if uh, a level 4 barely fits as it will now. It's going to lag up my computer in a bit, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it looks like it's finished generating, and this thing is absolutely massive. Having a level 4 manger sponge is pretty big. Now, Mojang did generate one of these within their 2022 April Fool snapshot with the books and everything, but this is something that you can generate on your own. And it's not made out of the ugly sponge block, it's made out of a nice clean white concrete. Now, uh, yeah, the way I have this uh, data pack work is the first thing is we clear this area, so something that I needed to wait for was the um, command that they recently added, which is the max uh, command modification block limit. And I set that to 10 million just so that we could clear out this whole area. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and just generate a few other things and explain them. Now, we don't have to generate a uh, three dimensional shape here. We can even generate a uh, one dimensional or two dimensional shape. So if I set this to only uh, one, we see that it's a three by three by one here and I'll even make it like I don't know an X shape and while I'm doing that I'll even show um, that if you want to have an area filled it's not going to do that because it's copying this shape let's go and drop this down to a three as well uh, it's because it's copying this shape you're not going to get all the ones in this area on the final size to be concrete and all the ones in the middle to be glass it's going to just copy this shape over give it a second there we go and so we see here that each of the base shapes gets copied over if you want to have the whole area filled i, I would suggest just run into fill command once the fractal has finished generating but yeah here we go a three by three of x's scaled up three times now another thing that i found while just playing around well, so if we do a 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 and make like this uh, plus looking shape, uh, we can then go ahead and run the command again. And I'll run it from down here. Just so I don't have to move. And what we'll see generate is a rather structure, is a 
uh, geometrically sound shape when projected from this particular angle. We have a almost perfect triangle, obviously it's not, and then a almost perfect hexagon within the center here. But obviously this shape, when actually viewed in a 3D space like such, is a whole bunch of pluses. And you can make like a bed wars or parkour out of this or something, I don't know. This is, this is just one of those weird ones that I found while playing around. But not as weird as this next one. Because if I actually decrease this to a 2x2x2 two by two by two, and just set up a simple staircase kind of looking thing like this. We can even make this bigger like it says size 5. And run the command again. What we'll see is that this generates a rather familiar looking shape. That black was probably left over from the last one. This is the Sierpinski Triangle, generated from a 3D shape being projected onto a 2D plane. Because the Sierpinski Triangle is a triangle made up of smaller triangles, a triforce of triforces, if you will. And what's really interesting about this is it's not that hard to generate. It's, uh, one of, it's just one of those things that it's so simple to make, but you wouldn't know it until you actually go through and generate something like this. So yeah, that's just one of those really odd and unusual ones. And now we'll go back to the one that I had at the start of the video, which is the large Jerusalem cube, and explain how to run one of these. Okay, so first, we need to have a uh, area fill a structure filled into the area here and we have this command block set to save mode and we'll call it manger and of course we have we already have the size determined and make sure entities is off otherwise you will probably crash your computer or at least the game so then this uh, 5 by 5 by 5 can only be do done twice otherwise we will be here forever and what you do is you just run the function fractal data pack under uh, main underscore fractal and then it just generates everything we start off by summoning an armor stand and then it moves another armor stand around and based off of if there is a block or not and if it's checking if anything is here aside from air then we can copy the structure and so once we've copied that structure each of the base times we then place another structure block and copy the new structure that was just generated and that's how we are able to repeat the same structure over and over. And so we end up with this rather nice looking Jerusalem cube again. I'm not the one who came up with the names, that's just what it's called. So now I'll go into explaining the code for anyone interested. And if not, then that's all I have for today and thanks for watching. Goodbye. And for all those who are interested in how I set this up, Inside our functions folder, we have just two functions, a whole whopping two. And the first one we call is main fractal, and we kill anything that's not a player, summon three armor stands. We clear our and resummon our scoreboard. Then we take the number of items in our inventory slot one, which is the hop bar, and that's going to be inside fractal. We start our initial XYZ coordinates until the armor stand is done. And then we score the XYZ coordinates until the structure block, so the structure block, the data block add itself. And then we store these temporary XYZ values until the exponential increase to each iteration of n, and further to the XYZ. And then some other arms in, add one more, remove the structure arms in, one more, one and some other one, then we save the structure by something, and the block in, then clearing everything out, just so everything is consistent. Then we call our other function, the reason for the data. So, today, we love the cloud, and the structure will go out. Now, we're going to use the result, and we're going to use the result, and we have this uh, log editor, and we start off with a value, a temporary value, and we'll be set up with a free artifact structure. We multiply that by log, so that we get that, uh, that's what we're We multiply that by our IJ value, and we'll get the first value, and we'll get the Then we have that to our initial value. So, we start with the security, take the first value, and then add whatever structure block size we're at. And then do the same, then store that value for the arms in position, and the data. Then for X, we can say Y, and the then do the same thing for the structure block on the end, but we have all the five of those in the old block. And I will not follow all that in a minute. Right here, adding the one to the end, and we'll develop a level of one to the end, where we start blocking, which are 17, structure 2. Alright, so we'll also pull those arms into the fractal base structure block, and then tell structure block that if the block is added, anything unless, unless it's applied to that stairs, then add the fractal arms in, we do this special command, place it with the major block. Now the place is just added, which is the high level of the world, but it's still something, uh, they're broken, and yeah, now place the structure as long as there's block, and the structure block arms in. 